Hi guys, Alice Taylor here, and today we're going to take a look at the Ping G crossover. Hi guys, the Ping G crossover. So, certainly when you look at it from this angle, you know, big, chunky design, thick sole, really aimed at getting the ball up in the air. To look down on a fairly thick top line, but that nice dark finish, and certainly something that really really looks like it'll be incredibly easy to get in the air and hit a good distance okay guys so ping are very quick to make out that or tell us that this is not a driving iron even though it might look like some of the driving irons that have been on the market in the past this is not a driving iron this is a, a kind of combination between a hybrid and an iron i think most golfers who struggle with long irons um fully understand the, the technology and the idea behind hybrid clubs and how they should fit in the bag but a lot of guys do struggle with striking it and certainly better players i think struggle feeling like they're going to miss it left so what is good with this is you can actually get your lie angle altered exactly the same way that you can with an iron so that can be set up in the same way as the rest of your ping irons or the rest of your whichever manufacturer you play so i'm going to hit six shots on flight scope, normalized mode, give you a little bit of feedback as to how I find this club and maybe the kind of guys that will be looking to try this and get it in the bag for this year. So when you pop it down behind the ball, I mean, I've got a, a four iron, um, stiff shaft, grass height. <clears throat> so when you sit it down behind the ball, it's big, it's chunky. I mean, it leans itself more towards hybrid, I think, than I am in looks. it does go <clears throat> I mean when we look at the numbers on flight scope I've actually hit a few four irons beforehand because in theory this is an, a long iron replacement and I'm interested to see how this compares to my four iron I know it's graphite rather than steel which my four iron is and certainly noise wise it's a little bit on the loud side for me. You know, it doesn't doesn't sound like too many irons, particularly any of the, the ping irons that I've been hitting. But it, it doesn't put me off that at all. And I would say it's phenomenally easy to hit. I mean, generally speaking, I don't struggle with long irons, <clears throat> but I can definitely see how much easier this would be to hit, or maybe a bit more forgiving than a long iron for me. I mean, visually for me, having hit the four irons before, I'm not sure it's going any higher, which I thought this might do with the way it's designed. It looks about the same height as my own four iron. But it does look, and I will get a better look when I look at numbers, it does look like it goes further than my four iron though. <clears throat> which for a lot of guys won't be a bad thing. Okay, one last one with the G crossover. Yeah, that is a super easy club to hit. Okay guys, so half a dozen really good solid strikes with that club. Let's have a look on the numbers and just see exactly how this performs. Okay guys, so we look at the difference with four iron to four crossover. Like I said, I mean, they did look like they were going further, and at 16 yards, it's, it's a club longer for me, at least a club longer, maybe a little bit more. So it's probably the four crossover would be a three iron replacement for me. Swing speed, amazingly, was actually a little bit slower with the graphite than it was with the steel in my four iron, but I did get more ball speed out of that, and I can understand that maybe with the, the design of the head. Launched four iron a little bit higher, surprising for me. But crossover, for me, isn't a like-for-like -like replacement, me personally. But certainly for some guys, I think they'll definitely benefit hugely from this club. Right, guys, so we've looked at the numbers. Um, I mean, they're, they're very, very impressive numbers. Like I said, I don't, for me personally, I don't see that four crossover as a replacement for my four iron. Possibly more a replacement for my three iron. 
but I do think, and I've done a couple of fittings with, the, with these already, I do think for the guys who see a good progression going from seven to six to five that then really drop off with four iron, I think this fits in really, really nicely. And there's, there's a few different loft options in this as well for ping. I love the idea that you can get the line angle set as you can with your irons. And I, I love the fact that it's it's something, I wouldn't say completely revolutionary, because I think there's big clubs in the past with similar ideas, but I love it when manufacturers bring something different to the marketplace, give you guys a chance to enjoy your golf more, maybe put a club back in the bag as a, a four iron replacement that some of you might not have carried a long iron for a long time. But my first instincts with this are, I think it would be hugely popular. I mean, like I said, I've already done a few fittings and some of the guys who have been going for the I and the G iron that have struggled with long iron have put these in the bag, have already got them in and are, are loving them, absolutely loving them. What I would appreciate, guys, is if you've already got one of these in your bag or tried them, leave me some comments below and let me know how you found the look and the feel and the performance. Has it been an iron replacement for you, like for like, or does it hit it further than said three, four, five that you've replaced in your bag. As ever guys, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, like it and share it. If you don't already, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact. Just one final one. Minute.